driving to Fremantle this morning to head to the Fremantle markets it's like our weekly ritual it's what we always do every weekend we go and buy our fruit and veg at the markets and I grab a coffee there going to the markets it's just really nice to be around all these other people who are purchasing fruit and vegetables and having their morning coffees together even though we don't talk or chat I just really like being around everyone like that probably because I'm a bit of a recluse during the week so it's nice to be around people so we just drove through North Fremantle and there was all these people protesting about live exporting and I was like, stop, stop the car. We've got to jump out and go ask how I can get involved. So she's out there at the moment. Not sure if you can see. That's her there. Speaking to one of the girls holding the sign, she's figuring out how she can get involved, which is pretty cool. So we've just rocked up at my old uni, ECU. We're going to the library here to find a textbook that I need for a nursing assignment that's due next Saturday. I ordered this textbook online ages ago, Express Post, but still hasn't come. So hopefully we'll be able to find it here. Unfortunately they don't have the book I'm looking for here at Mount Lawley, but they do have one in the Joondalup campus. So I think we might be going up there or trying to find another library in the area that has what we need. love the smell of old books. Something about it. Do you know the song? Cause I don't know it. I only know a few more words in the song. <laughs> So we've just arrived at the Joondalup campus. It's be about half an hour to get here. And it's a pretty cool campus. So I think we're gonna go show you quickly around before we go to the library. I used to come up to this campus for a French class in my first year of university. So I had to catch two trains to get here, which took me about an hour in total. But I used to love coming here for class because it's just got awesome buildings here and I just love it's cool. it. It's a cool feeling campus. Got a good vibe. Good vibe to it. Yeah. just saw this sign energy pod for napping such a good idea it's called context of nursing that's the book we need so seeing as this book is in high use we have to photocopy chapter 2 which is gonna take a little while I think watch out oh watch out oh watch out yeah smash out smash out smash out and the crowd goes wild. So we ended up photocopying two chapters of this textbook. Bit of a waste of paper, which I wasn't too happy about, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you're a uni student. talking a few months ago about guilty confessions things that we never owned up to in our teenage years that we feel really guilty about now 
and we thought it'd be fun to sh each share one with you today and then maybe you guys could share a guilty confession with us in the comments. So I'll start off. When I was 16 years old, my mum went away on a working trip and she left me at home for about a week or something and I normally catch public transport to my school, my high school every day. And I got to a point where I was just like, far out, I've been I've been driving now on my L's for ages. Like I'm I'm a competent driver. I don't need mum with me. And she left the keys behind to the car, so I think you know where this is going. Basically, for the whole week that she was away, I took the car and drove it around Cairns where I was living. And one particular night I picked my friend Venus up and we were driving somewhere, I can't remember where it was, and the cops pulled up beside us at the traffic lights and I was like <gasps> and we looked at each other being like far out this is <laughs> this is intense and luckily they just they didn't notice anything they just drove on and then after that we like drove home and we were just like what the hell just happened freaking out <laughs> and i don't think mum ever found out she never said anything about it but <laughs> i'm sure after she watches this video she'll know all about it <laughs> sorry mum <laughs> naughty naughty kid when i was going for my p plates which is like the first time you can drive by yourself you have a a practical driving test here in australia and so when i was doing my l test i was trying to get me to reverse parallel park and i failed the park because i accidentally hit the car in front of me <laughs> reversing like my nose and my car just clipped the corner of their car it was like a ute so i hit the tray and it didn't do any damage anywhere but it just wobbled the car a little bit and then i sort of screwed failed. that up and so i told my parents that i just hit the curb and they failed me for that <laughs> I was too embarrassed to um to say that I crashed a car. <laughs> so Diana and Pete, so, yeah. <laughs> you now know. <laughs> you now know. <laughs> that is the reason I failed. <laughs> that was the reason I was so angry that day. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you guys have any guilty confessions you'd like to hmm. confess in the comments below, They're I think always... it'd be interesting for us all to read. They're always fun to read. Yeah, yeah and hear about. So Definitely. feel free to share them with us. Do it. And uh, yeah. I think I'll end the vlog here tonight. Um, yeah. That's yeah. all I've got to say. That's all she's going to say, guys. That's all, all you're getting out of her. <laughs> so, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Every day, every word that I say lives surface. I'm okay, I'll deny what's beneath the surface.